Well, just like this time of year brings out the best in people, we also see the worst. Joining us with what to be aware of, we have Rania Mankariu, CEO of Crime Stoppers of Houston. Good morning, Rania. Good morning, Deborah. I have a little phone over my head today. Yeah, there you go. Okay, a lot of people are using those phones to uh, make shopping purchases, and we're also going online, which is something we didn't have to worry about growing up, but uh, there's a spike in phishing and fraud right now because many stores are hosting online sales. Yeah, Black Friday sales started early this year because we can't rush to the stores. And, and let's face it, consumers are want to get out there and shop and businesses need to recoup some of those lost wages. But let's look at the number. Over 93 million people were online last year doing, during Black Friday sales, spending a record $7.4 billion. But we know those numbers are projected to increase by over 62% this year in terms of the number of people going online. Yeah, and so with, we that said, yeah with that said, said, there's some key things that people need to be aware of. Shop from a secure network. Shop from a secure network. Make sure you're going, um, you know, you're not using public spaces. You're using the actual website. Re beware of phishing, fraud, identity theft, malware installation. And these types of scams are going to come at you from many ways, from online websites, from emails that you're going to get, from text messages that you're going to get. So we want people to be aware of the many avenues and the ways that you can be scared. Yeah, you know, explain that text message. You will get a text message, an SMS text message that says, you know, we know that you've made a purchase. Please kick, click here to check tracking or to check your address. You're going to click there thinking, yeah, I actually did make a recent purchase. And instead, malware will be installed or you will be giving your address to a to a scammer. You know, that has nothing to do with your purchase. There's no reason for you to get a confirmation like that that asks for your address. So we're asking people, use common sense. I know we're distracted. I know we're just so thankful to do anything that seems like, the you know, the good Good old days, right. but be careful before you share information. Another Amazon scam, uh, it targets returns and exchanges. Absolutely. So there are a lot of lookalike Amazon websites out there that will say, we know you made a recent return. Click here to make sure you've gotten that uh, credit applied to your card um, or an exchange. We have a question about it. Don't click these sites, especially if they're coming through an email address. And when you click before you go on any site, check the address, check from first letter to last letter and make sure it looks like the actual company, um, because there are a lot of fake sites out there that are trying to get you to input your information. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I was just looking on my phone right now, um, I had that and a phone call that said, uh, it was like a fake security call. So did you just buy this? Which card did you use? Could you give us that number? Anytime someone's asking you for a number like that, absolutely not. But, and it's a good reminder too, to check your statements, you know, because we are using our credit cards online. If you can restrict it to one card for online purchases that you can really aggressively be on top of, we, I know we're all busy, but check that statement regularly so you can uh, go ahead and contest it if you found a fraudulent uh, claim on there. Yeah, products delivered somewhere else and there's that kind of scam right there. But I just wanna talk about the simple things, the very tangible things, when you have products delivered on your doorstep, if you are not home to receive them, them. Don't be surprised if they're not there when you get home. Yeah, and that's a problem. And look, you have ring cameras. People set ring cameras right up to their front doorstep so they can be monitoring packages. You can call maybe your local police department and ask them to go ahead and help you pick up a package if it's if you're going to be gone for an extended period of time or a neighbor. But we're also saying, look, to have stuff delivered to a place where somebody can accept it and hold it for you. It might be your place of business. It might be a friend's house or a grandparent's house, somebody that's home all the time. Because leaving stuff at the front door, it could be an invitation for somebody with not the best intentions to go ahead and grab your packages. Yeah, and this other thing, we see this all the time. You get so distracted by shopping. When you walk out to find your car, you're like, where did I park again? You have yeah. all these packages and your purse. I've been guilty of it, but I've learned to like walk with determination like I am a ninja, <laughs> like I am like literally a <laughs> karate expert. I just walk with determination, but the, the, the con artists will sniff out that person. So be aware of your surroundings, uh, you know, shop during the day. And also one of the other things is uh, there are times when you don't want to use valet parking because it can be expensive. Sometimes it's a good idea to use valet parking because you're not wandering through the parking lot. Absolutely, especially if you know you're going to be leaving the mall, the restaurant, whatever, in the evening. It's better to just valet, have them bring your car right up to your to your feet, wherever you are, instead of you navigating a parking lot, the streets, to find your vehicle. And of course, 
know what you're carrying. Women, we do it all the time. We have huge bags. We have everything in it. And I remember, I always say this a few years ago, I stopped and looked at my, looked in my bag and I said, why do I have three passports for my three kids while I'm doing Christmas shopping? It's just not necessary. We talk about what you wear, be, be observant. Like you're saying, know where you're going, have a plan, stick to it and have fun. Don't be paranoid, yeah. go out and do want to do but just do it safely and oftentimes malls especially this time of year will have security that will take you uh, from the mall to your car if you'd like as well and i want to wrap up with if you're shopping with children if you can avoid that that'd be great but young children sometimes yeah. another distraction you don't want to get home and go okay how many gifts do i have and we're missing a child right <laughs> I got everything on sale, but I lost a kid. Yeah. No, you, you, you know that you need to bring your children with you. Have them near you. Make sure you can always see them. Don't leave your kids in play areas. Don't leave your children unattended. Please don't send them to the restrooms alone. Do not leave them in a car alone. You know, we say that that's common sense, but we get calls every year by people who do this just not thinking about it. And unfortunately, it's a it's an alert and a warning we have to talk about yeah. every single year. And make sure they know your full name and your phone number or have that somewhere if they're old enough to remember that. All right, Rania, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And you can report an anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers of Houston by calling this number 713-222-TIPS. That works out to be 713-222-8477 or visit their website crimestoppers.org. We'll